Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another grocery haul and meal plan for you. So we're going to get straight in. I'm going to show you the things that I bought this week from Asda and I'm going to run through my meal plan with you. Okay, store cupboard items. We'll start at this side. So I got these Fibre One bars to try. These are the birthday cake squares. I've never tried these before, but they are low sins on Slimming World and they look quite fun. So I thought I'd try them. I also got these to try. These are, again, the Fibre One. They are the triple chocolate cake bars and they have this like gooey bit in them and they're also covered in chocolate. And they are low in sins as well and I thought I'd give them a go. I've only ever tried the chocolate brownie ones, not these cake bars. So I'm interested to see how they taste. Um, I got these Freddos to have as a treat. Um, also some crisps. Caitlin just likes the plain ready salted ones, so I just got a pack of six of those. And we've never had these before, but they're like a copy of Palm Bears. They're called Cheeky Monkey Crisps. Um, and yeah, they've got little monkey faces. So they're six in a pack. So I got those for Elle. I got a packet of the Asda cornflakes for breakfasts. Um, there, I got multi-grain Cheerios. I would have just got um, Asda own brand Cheerios, but they don't seem to do a uh, own brand equivalent in Asda. Let me know if your Asda has them, because mine doesn't seem to. Um, I normally get the Aldi ones, but because we're shopping in Asda this week, I had to go with the proper Cheerios. Um, I got some tomato ketchup. Again, i just gone for the Asda own brand one. We like that fine. Um, I went for some black pepper. Um, oh, I thought I'd got the one that you grind but obviously I haven't it's already ground for you and um, I did have a whole thing of black pepper and I dropped it in the basin in my kitchen which was full of water and it all got wet so I had to get a new one so I've got that and um, some own brand chocolate spread for the girls and um, I got two loaves of the wholemeal Warburton's 400 gram loaves I actually wanted the crustless loaves because um, you get three slices of those in Slimming World as your hex B, but um, they were substitute for these, and you only get two slices of those, which isn't as good, but never mind. Um, I got a packet of Fusilli pasta, the twists, a 500 gram bag. This and the spaghetti was two for a pound. It was two for a pound and all the different pastas. So I got one of the Fusilli and one of the spaghetti, um, and that is for meals this week, and some wraps pack of eight white wraps. So now for the fresh produce, I got a packet of sweet clems. I'm eating loads of these just now on Slimming World. I got a packet of three peppers because we are going to have fajitas one night this week. And um, again, I got a pack of three onions for the same meal. I got a cucumber. That's nice to have for lunches. And um, a packet of carrots, two packets of strawberries. We go through these so quickly because the girls love snacking on these. And um, some sliced mushrooms for a dinner this week. Two packets of bananas. I got one which are ready to eat and one which need to ripen. I got some sliced um, cheese. I went for the mature 50% less fat, which you get more of on Slimming World. And also the same but grated, just for laziness. It just helps when I've got both kids hungry and wanting something quickly, it's handy to have it all prepared for me. Um, I also got some chicken breast pieces. These, again, are really good for Slimming World lunches. Um, and yeah, just good for lunches in general. So I got a packet of that. I got also got the sliced wafer thin cooked chicken because that's what Caitlin prefers. And this is the bigger pack. So this will do us all for a good while. Um, I got this Scottish beef lean, lean steak mince. Um, the less than 5% fat one, which is free on Slimming World. And I got a kilogram packet because I plan to batch cook with that. Again I got two, for batch cooking two packets of chicken breast fillets and each one is a kilogram so two kilograms of chicken breast fillets and that will do loads of meals which I plan to batch cook and I'm hoping to do a video um, of batch cooking that I'll share with you guys. And I got some British pork lean mince which is less than 5% fat, which is also free on Slimming World. And I only got 500 grams of that because I plan to mix that with some of the beef mince to make meatballs. So that is all my fresh produce this week. And lastly, these are my freezer items. So I got a bag of the diced chopped onions. These are a staple in our house. We use them in loads of different meals. Um, I got a packet of butternut squash chunks, which I don't normally buy, but I plan to make something with that. And I got a bag of the bird's eye garden peas. I normally just go for own brand things, but I watched like a taste test um, thing on TV the other day and someone was saying that the bird's eye peas are much tastier than the other peas 
for the price. So I thought I'd give them a try and see if we notice any difference just for fun. So that is my freezer items. As always, I have some staple store cupboard items like um, dried rice. I have flour and things like that in the cupboards. We've got milk because we got milk the other day and I've got loads of eggs. So along with the things that I've just bought, they will make up our meals for this week. So I'm going to share with you now my meal plan for this week. So these are my seven meals for this week, not necessarily in this order, but I've just planned out my seven meals at the moment and then I'll work out when we're going to have them. But the meals we're going to have this week are chicken curry. I'm going to do my Slimming World chicken tikka curry with the chicken that I bought. I'm also going to do chicken fajitas one day. I'm going to make up some meatballs with beef and pork mince and that's going to make a bolognese because I know I have some tin tomatoes in the cupboard and I've got that spaghetti to go with that. So it'll be spaghetti and meatballs. I'm also going to do a cottage pie. It'll be sort of a take on the Joe Wicks cottage pie. I make this quite a lot and our family loves it. I'm also going to do a mushroom pasta with the mushrooms that I bought and the fusilli pasta. So that will be another night. I'm going to do a butternut squash soup. Um, I might use one of the red peppers and do it as a roasted red pepper and butternut squash soup. And we'll have that with some bread. I might even make homemade bread so we can have some crusty bread with that. And that will be a meal one night this week. And I'm going to leave one night for leftovers. So whatever we have left over from the week, we'll use up on that night. It might be a bit of a pick and mix night. There's probably going to be things left over in the freezer from previous weeks. So I'm going to get them all used up on the last night. And then that way we have an empty fridge and freezer ready for our next week's shop. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment below and let me know if you love grocery hauls and where you do your grocery shop from. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.